Hello everyone and welcome to uh, another episode of Kickstarter in the current year. Tis I, the king of uh, Kickstarter cringe, bringing you, my loyal subjects, some royally strange content. This bit was not worth the five bucks I spent on the fucking crown. Today's project is, uh, however, definitely, um, definitely something, you see. I'm gonna preface the entire video by saying that the man making this project has all the best intentions in the world. He wants to save the planet, he wants to save the environment, he wants us off fossil fuels, he wants to find alternative energy. It's just that in his attempts to do so, he's trying to break, like, every single law of physics and, like, uh, thermodynamics, so it might not happen, and um, the way he's going about it is pretty strange. And the project is titled GravCore Energy. GravCore Energy is a clean energy research and development company. Hello, my name is David Gillard. My company is called GravCore Energy. GravCore Energy is a clean energy research and development company. Our planet is heating up. Every year, unprecedented record temperatures because of climate change, because of fossil fuel emissions. We are overdue for a new clean energy prime mover. Now, up until this point, everything he has said is not just completely fine, it's just pretty much objectively correct and true, and, and you know, this is something we need to focus on, we need to fi find alternative uh, energy sources, you know? Wind, solar, uh, hydropower, uh, natural uh, thermopower, like, uh, wave currents, uh, you know, the hummingbird guys. I'm still, still waiting on news from him on the big, big old turbine stuff that's gonna you know, generate enough power to, to like, uh, the entirety of the United States just from a couple of turbines in the Gulf of Mexico or something, but we're still waiting. We're still waiting on that. At Grafcourt Energy, our prototypes are designed to mix two forces, centrifugal force with magnetomotor force, in an attempt to create an artificial gravity generator. This is when things get a bit off we'll we'll get into it uh, a bit further but he is kind of talking about mixing two different forces which are also one of them might not really be a force and, and then there's no real definition of how they're going to mix um to create anti-gravity which also isn't clear how that's going to help make energy how would you like to have a vehicle that does not need fuel does not need charging has no emissions and virtually unlimited range we are working on such technology what i would say is that uh, just about everyone on the planet would like that is just that what you're describing is impossible what you're describing is a perpetual motion machine uh, something that people have been obsessed with since the fucking middle ages and something we just haven't figured out because what we have figured out is that it's impossible. In this house, we obey the laws of thermodynamics! We are working on such technology. This God-given thinking is brand new. Yeah, he does sort of, uh, in, in, in this video and others, imply that this is uh, divine inspiration. Uh, that, that God is telling him to create this machine, which, um, which, I mean, if it's true, kind of a dick move from God, because... That just means either God is pranking him because he, the, the, he set up the universe in the first place to make what he's trying to do impossible, or two, he did give him this information, and this is like some kind of specific cheat code you need to put into the universe to, to get infinite energy, and it's like, well, why keep that hidden away for so long? That's kind of a, that's kind of a dick move as well. Grafcore Energy has a vision to clean the CO2 from the atmosphere to pre-industrial inside of 10 years and as a resulting effect, a pre-industrial global mean surface temperature by 2050. That's right, everything is fixed by 2050. That's not gonna happen. There, there is no way that happens even if you hit zero emissions in those 10 years. Even if you have this infinite energy source, the amount of energy you need to bring it back to pre-industrial levels is freaking ridiculous. Uh, no, no, you, you're not doing that in 10 years. No, I'm sorry. There's a lot happening in this project. The, the, the entire project description is very lengthy. He's linked videos, he's linked, uh, linked uh, put in some, some images. Um, 
But the best source for what is like going on in his mind and what he's trying to do are, are the best sources are his YouTube channel and his website. But we'll get to those. First, let's look at a couple of things in the uh, in the description. Namely, something that uh, I've known since well high school since seeing a single freaking XKCD comic about it and then just retaining that information. It's that centrifugal force doesn't really exist. It's called like centripetal force instead because it, it, here's the thing, it, it technically kind of exists because you're needed to exist to do certain calculations in physics, to actually, you know, figure out some shit about sp things just spinning around like that, but uh, it's not really a real, it, it's not a real force, it's not actually, it's, it, it's still just trying to move in a straight line, there's nothing special about an object rotating, it's, it's, it's still all the same, but, but let's just pretend that it is kind of a special force it it isn't and that immediately sort of disqualifies a lot of what he's talking about let's let's pretend that it is it's still a completely different force from the other one he wants to use which is magnetomotive force which i am not in the position to explain i do not understand the physics behind it i do not understand the mathematics behind it uh, fucking, fucking magnets, magnets. How, do how do they work? work? but there's just this part of the description these paragraphs these sentences that just make me question things. Uh, today I am building what could be the key as to why my other devices did not work. Yeah, that's, that's already a good sign that none of the other devices worked at all. Basically, I'm trying to mix two forces, centrifugal force and magnetomotive force. I'm gonna change this sentence up to be about something completely different, to sort of illustrate, uh, illustrate why that, I don't think any of this would work. Today I am working on what could be the key as to why my previous attempts at a potion of youth didn't work. Basically, I'm trying to mix two different liquids. Oil and water. And for some reason there's just something in the way that doesn't make it happen. Once I can replicate the conditions to stick the, these two forces together, then we should be able to export the tremendous tr centrifugal force to thruster coils. So, again, it's... Once you manage to mix two things that don't mix, amazing things will happen. I'll, I'll believe you on that, I just don't think you'll do the mixing part. Uh, I'm also going to read this part because it includes some acronyms we're going to hear in, in his videos if we uh, take a look at them, which is, uh, when we doubled the RPM, revolutions per minute, I knew that one, uh, of the device, we quadrupled the RCF, relative centrifugal force, if we can export this immense force, we would have all the energy we could ever dream of. Cheap, clean, and abundant. I previously calculated the RCF of one of the rotors from the Hoover Dam. At the rated speed, 600 RPM, the rotor generates two times the force of a Saturn V rocket at takeoff. Yeah, you're right, the Hoover Dam rotors do generate an immense amount of like like power, like, uh, wow. If, if only someone would take the Hoover Dam and then use it to generate, like, electricity. It's, it's wild how you're the first person to ever think of that. I understand he's not saying that it's the physical force that we already use to generate power. He wants to use the non-existent centrifugal force, which is somehow different from the, like, the kinetic force that is involved in this entire thing, and use that to generate anti-gravity. It's just that that's silly. Uh until proven otherwise. To have an understanding of what he's actually trying to do, uh, Lobster linked this uh, wonderful video because he has a lot of videos talking well, through this process of creating all of these different prototypes, none of them functioning properly, none of them obviously generating any electromagnetic, or oh, sorry, uh, anti-gravity fields, which seems to be the, the purpose of them. This video in particular gives a pretty decent understanding of what he's trying to do specifically. The vibration of the, of, the, of the machine is rotating. But, uh, sure we took it over both ways. Please, and we don't have any RCF transfer. Those diodes aren't even warm, which is pretty awesome, which means that the circuit isn't being uh, overtaxed to get the RCF out of this device. I mean, it's there. The centrifugal force is there, right? Like, it, it has to be. The device is rotating. The the coils are uh, being uh, bombarded with RCF. They're going through a magnetic field, 
Um, there's a voltage on them. If there's voltage on them, there has to be current on them. You know, some, at least enough to, to show on the device that there's uh, there's voltage. So, uh, um. so what he's trying to do there, he's trying to make he's trying to make that little nut levitate using anti-gravity, which he thinks he's generating by using that centrifuge thing to create this centrifugal force which he's then transferring to he's then transferring to that point over there through through diodes which is supposed to then make that happen except whatever centrifugal force exists if we say that it exists would still be in the c centrifuge like it it's not like it's going to it's not going to just just go over there because you put some wires over there it's, it's it's just still over there it's still in the fucking centrifuge maybe if you threw the threw the knot at the centrifuge then then it would go flying ultimately i would just love to have a conversation with this man and figure out uh, what his intentions are and and uh, what is he intending to really change and i, I i'm sure he's he, he does explain it it's just that he explains it in terms that I, a mere layman, do not understand. By, by, by layman, I mean, I mean, of course, the, the royalty. Um, the last thing I want to look at are, of course, reward tiers. Uh, there are many available rewards. They all come with uh, different uh, different uh, videos of previous projects and previous attempts and like, and, and like all kinds of material. Um, and all of the reward tiers also include the planet Earth which um, is estimated to be delivered uh, by March 2024. I think that's, I think that's kind of an optimistic uh, delivery date for the entirety of the planet Earth. Although, um, oh. oh, never mind, it's already here. It's already here. That's going to be doing it for today's video. Uh, it's it's an interesting project to be sure. It's like I said, it's made with good intentions. It's just that it's probably definitely not going to work unless something about the universe is about to fundamentally change, at which point I'm not going to be particularly upset about being being wrong here. It sort of does remind me of the Cyber Matrix a little bit because Pisces had a better understanding of like uh, the quantum physics that's, than, than, than the average person would, which is why everything he said sounded twice as ridiculous as it actually was. Uh, this person, uh, this guy clearly also has a pretty good understanding of, of some physics. He has good understanding of some thermodynamics. He has a good understanding of, 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 of engineering and, and everything like that. It's just that the application here falls through pretty, pretty badly. That's gonna be it for today's video, ah, uh, and I'm going to be uh, getting rid of this shit and thinking of something actually entertaining for the next bit. Who am I kidding? Entertaining? On this fucking channel? Oh my god. <laughs> so if they, they get $3,000, that's um, a total of 10 stickers, by the way, that's going to be... 10 stickers and 10 pages on their website, uh, mm. but uh, let's say they get that. They get that amount, um, how long is that amount going to last them? They're gonna have to keep getting more people to, to buy their shit, which they're, they're not gonna... They're not gonna get, so... How long do you think they're going to stay in business? I'm gonna go ahead and say less than a hundred years.